All right then, I will start by loading a teapot model into the scene, maybe adding a couple more, just for testing purposes. Next, I am going to change the matrix translation for one of them, the position, the rotation, the color, uh, and probably I'll give it no lighting shader, so that we don't have lights on that one. For the next bit, I'm going to load a camera, a new camera, into the scene. Uh, I will show you what it can see through its viewport. I'll move it back a bit so that we can see more. Uh, I said back, sorry. Okay. And uh, next, I'm going to bind to it. And then bind back to the main one. Alright. I will also move uh, around the scene a bit so that you can see that the camera also works and it's uh, it's 3D. That right there is where the camera is. Next, I will add a new scene. I'll bind to it. I will add a different model to it. I'm gonna scale it down a bit because it's a bit big. Uh, and then back, uh, bind back to the previous one. And so forth. Uh, lastly, uh, this is uh, the functionality for previewing a model, which has uh, a little animation in there. Any modifications done in the preview will not affect the product when it's loaded onto the scene. It's temporary. It also allows camera movements in the preview. And as far as the environment light uh, is concerned, uh, it can also be, well, that, that's just the model of it, which can be scaled down. Uh, but if we move, uh, move it around the scene a bit, you will see that the light follows uh, the logics of it on the models, except for the reflection, uh, which still follows the camera position.